welcome back to another video. I am really looking forward to tomorrow and that is why I have to make a video today. I wanted to share with you really quick my list of books I'm going to take with me to the semi-annual library book sale. The last book sale was six months ago. That was in August. We are now in the middle of January and they are having their next book sale tomorrow and I'm so excited. Um, me and my mom look forward to this the whole year. Um, I'm so happy they have two, but also my shelves are really like filling up from all the book sales I've been going to. I think this is either the third or fourth one. I'm not sure, but I'll leave links to the previous year's book sales in the description in case you want to check those out as well. Um, I'm not really sure what to expect. I don't know what I'm going to get. Like I said, that list you probably have seen already. Kind of a loose guideline of books that I already have that I'm like collecting books from a certain author and I would like all of their books. So um, I just have the rest of the books that I don't have in there unchecked and then the books that I do have are a check mark next to them just so I can keep a little bit more organized and then there's like a random like three or four in there that I just really wanted so those are just in there to remind me just as a little guideline to help me not go too crazy and those are the books that I'm really going in looking for um and then the rest of the books that I buy are just books that I'm gonna end up seeing and wanting so um the books are like between one and three dollars a piece depends on if it's a hardcover or paperback that sort of thing so um, yeah, they're very inexpensive and I think like I ended up getting 80 books last year and I might have spent like $90 on 80 books, which is insane. But, um, yeah, I, I'm trying not to get 80 books this time. I'm going to try to set myself a limit of 50 and if I do get 50, I am going to have to get rid of some books. Now I made a very small stack of books that I am happy to get rid of. Um, let me grab that. So out of all the books that I read last year, um, these were the books that I am getting rid of that I didn't really love, I didn't connect with, I don't see myself ever picking up again, and they are just going to probably take up space on my shelf. So these are the, the little stack of books that I am happy to get rid of <laughs> if I go through my shelves one more time after I get more books at the sale, I will have more to get rid of. So I'll probably just scatter these throughout like my little free libraries around because I'm usually, I always check them and half the time I don't have a book to leave. So I feel like I owe some of the libraries around me some books. I'm going to take you with me shortly. Um, it will be a whole day for me, but it will be just minutes for you. Um, and I'll give you a little update before I go in and show you kind of the line because the line is insane. It gets so long and I don't think I showed you that last time. And not only that, but then inside it's crazy. I showed you a bit of that last time and I did a much better job of filming last time. So this time I plan to also do a pretty good job of filming for you. And yeah, um, let's just, let's go to the sale. Woo.
out of the book sale and it was a little disappointing. Um, they didn't have hardly what they usually have. They had probably half of what they usually had. So I think, um, actually I don't remember what my final count was, but I think I'm definitely below 50. And I just showed you the two bags that I ended up getting. There really wasn't all that much to film or look at or anything like that this time. So I'm gonna go because we're headed to lunch and I will be back with you in a minute. It is a new day and I, it's been a little bit of time because I actually ended up sick after the sale. So anyway, I'm finally ready to go over everything I bought and I can't wait to show you. I've got a lot of good stuff. I was actually a little surprised that they didn't really have as much as they usually do, which is a little weird. And that is also why I didn't take as much footage in there because there just wasn't as much to look at as usual. They usually are like refilling the shelves as people buy, but it just seemed like they, whatever they had was out and it was what it was kind of thing. So I don't know what's going on exactly with that. I don't know if maybe they're thinking of not doing it anymore or what, but um, I did get two bags full. Usually I get about four or five. So, so about half of what I usually get. And also this stack in the front is books that I ordered when I got home because Book Outlet was having a sale and I had my eye on a few things that were used, but they were the books that were gonna complete some of the series that I've been collecting and just, some like special edition type thing. So we'll get into those at the end, but those are those are the other extra stack I ordered. And these are all the books I got at the sale. Let me just take them out, line them up for you so you can kind of get more of a visual of what's actually here. Okay, this is it. This is all I got are just these two stacks. Usually I have like four or five. <laughs> So let's go through. I will count kind of at the end and let you know how many I actually ended up getting total count wise. But I'm just gonna like usual, kind of just go through, read you the name, maybe tell you a fact of why I bought it and kind of move along because we've got a lot to go through here and I don't wanna take up a really long video just talking about all the books I got. So this is called Fates and Furies. Now also I just wanna say I was also being crazy selective this time because as you can see, my books, I mean, my shelves are pretty full and I just wanted certain things. I really went in on more of a mission this time. Usually I kind of just willy nilly it, but um, this time I really went in on a mission and I was trying to be way more mindful of actually reading like a sentence of the blurb on the back so I would get a better idea of what the book was actually about before I bought it because I just didn't want to come home with a bunch of random books that I wasn't sure what it was about and I kind of just impulse bought. So, Fates and Furies is the first one. Loved the cover, and I'm sure I read a sentence and it sounded good. I'm going to just stack them back here so that they look organized, and then you'll be able to see them at the very end when all this is gone. So, Nuclear Family, Before the Fall. I was kind of bummed out because this was like a perfect book when I bought it, but then in the bag somehow the cover like totally got bent, but I'm thinking I can flatten it out maybe. Julie and Julia, I had this in my hand, put it back, had this in my hand, put it back. And then I was like, you know what? I loved the movie, literally. The movie has my whole heart. I have seen it so many times and I've never read the book. So I was really excited to actually find the book. And I was just like, you know what? Hopefully it's not one of those books that lets me down because I did this with the Devil Wears Prada at the sale as well. And then I ended up reading it, loved the movie. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. And the book completely let me down and I really didn't like it. So I'm hoping that the book will be better than the movie. To tell you the truth, and right as I took this out of the bag, I realized I actually already have it and this version's a little bit better. So I'm gonna see if maybe my mom wants this one. The Lost and Found Bookshop. This is about a bookshop and dogs. So I am definitely in on this. Doll Baby. This looked really good. I remember reading a little bit of the back and it's not really like what it sounds. Inland. Nights in Rodante. So I already have this book, but it's like the pocket size version and it's so beat up because I had it when I was a teenager and I took it everywhere in like a backpack and it's just like falling apart. So I just thought to have a nice copy of it would be 
great because I am trying to own every single Nicholas Sparks book that he's ever written. And I think I have about like two more of the brand new ones to own and then I'll have all of them. The Girl Who Knew Too Much. Lipstick Jungle. Extinctions. This cover was everything. I absolutely loved it. I did read a little bit of the back and I was like, semi interested and uh, like normally I would have put it back but the cover is just like oh my goodness so amazing and I just had to have this one bright burning things I've heard so many good things about this book and I was so excited to find this and also just like the cover I can't it is so gorgeous the remedy so this one is part of the program series and I already have this one which is the treatment with no dust jacket from the last sale and I was hoping to find all of them but I didn't so I actually ended up ordering them from the book outlet so there's some of those over here so I'll set these to the side so I can show you like all of the ones I actually have and I just realized somebody left a little bookmark in it influence this is by Sarah Shepard who also wrote the pretty little liar series so I thought maybe it would be good the Death Cure. This is part of the Maze Runner series and I have the first two or three. I have the first two or three and this is like the third or something. I'm looking up there because that's where they are. Every Wild Heart. This looks so cute. The Maid. I was really excited to find this one. The Perfect Girl. Um, I like this author a lot and I have a lot of her books so I was happy to find this one walk the edge this looked really good and also the cover is just gorgeous girl in translation um i have heard good things about this and i was excited to find this peter pan okay guys this is like my gem of the sale um this is like a i don't i want to say vintage but it's not vintage it's like a new version of peter pan it's got gold lettering it's got gold on the spine and it's like this beautiful dark blue i don't even want to open all the way because it hasn't been cracked even in the slightest so it is brand brand new and it is just the most gorgeous copy of peter pan this right here was four books that i was specifically looking for at the sale because i read the first one dead girls don't blog in a video that is probably not out yet um for you guys <laughs> it was my blind tbr video of december and i loved it and oh spoiler i loved it um and i was really excited to hopefully find some of the series but there's five books total so i already have one so i found all four of the books that are part of that series and granted guys like i'm not spending a lot of money on the sale they're literally two dollars each so i think i spent like a total of maybe seventy dollars for all of these which is amazing so um yeah so i found the whole thing and i was really excited to have this i'm definitely gonna hang on to this series like forever the last check me i was super excited to find this because this has been on my tbr oh my gosh so fun fact about this one the lagger queen of minnesota i had just saw on bookstagram somebody was posting about this thing it was really good and they had just read it and i was like wow that cover looks interesting and then i read what they had to say about reading it and I really was very intrigued and interested in it and I had added it to my Goodreads TBR like okay maybe one day I'll, I'll get to it and I just happened to find it so I was really excited to find this one as well. The Husbands. This looked really good. It kind of reminded me of like ah uh, there's this movie i can't think of the name right now but i'll pop it on the screen for you but it reminded me of that movie and it just sounds really good lost found in forever guys how cute is this cover oh my gosh this just had my whole heart so i had to buy it started early took my dog sounds amazing also this is kate atkinson who also wrote this book life after life which i am obsessed with the cover and everyone says it's good but i have yet to read it so now i have two books by her i'll be gone in the dark this looked really good um it has an introduction it says by an author that i really like so i thought that that would be interesting 
the queen's gambit this has been on my list forever and i was actually really excited to find this one this is everything got at the sale right here and let's move on to the books that i got at i got it between two websites one is book outlet and one was i don't know i'll put it on the screen for you because it has a bunch of used books that are just like random that um like i would have never thought i would find them anywhere else but i happened to find them there so i was actually really excited to find them and they are in quite good condition even though they're used so first of course i have to tell you about is harry potter and the philosopher's stone i got the special edition ravenclaw because i feel like i would be in ravenclaw and with braid edges like it's amazing it's literally amazing it has pictures and everything and then um when you open it it's got blue on the spine i love it and it's just like a plain nice black cover um but i'm replacing my first book my first hardcover philosopher stones because i'm going to be using it for like a special project and so i just figured why not get this it was six dollars for this i was really excited it was used there is like a little dent right here but you would never know because it's under the dust jacket so super stoked on that one then i got this one called picture this and i read lost and found recently and i was obsessed with it i just lent it to my mom so i don't have it here because i really wanted her to read it and um the library doesn't have this book and like i couldn't find it anywhere so I ordered this online for $2 and I was so excited to get this. This, okay, I'll talk about this one in a minute, but these were the ones that I was telling you about. So I found the, these two, which is part of this series at the book sale. And then I ordered these three and I'm missing one um, that I will eventually order, but it's like $20 right now. So I'm not really trying to spend that on one book. So I think I paid like two to three dollars for each one of these and i was really excited about that because i have loved this series since i was a teenager and i've been really wanting to reread it but i didn't want to reread it till i could reread and annotate because these are going to be in my personal collection forever so now i have the start of them and the only one i'm missing is the last book in the series so i can do all of them besides that one and then hopefully once i get there it will go down a little bit in price so i'm really excited have pretty much the whole series and they're in really great condition because i bought them used then this one um i splurged i got shark heart because i've been dying to have this the cover is amazing the story sounds amazing everyone that reads it is freaking out over it and i've been dying to read it and i just really wanted to have my own copy so i splurged and i spent five dollars on this but um i think it was a it was a five dollars well spent then i got immortality and anatomy a love story i got both of them they are so gorgeous i've always wanted to have them and they were on sale i think they were um five dollars each so i also splurged on these two but i was really excited to get these i'm sorry there's a page that's bent and it's freaking me out okay <laughs> it's okay um so i can't wait to get to these soon and i threw this one in here because my cousin who's also my best friend um actually bought me this for christmas and i just got it a couple of weeks ago because she shipped it so we don't live in the same state so i was excited to have this also like just the cover is gorgeous and the color is amazing so happy about that and then um these two i got these two because i really wanted to own little women and then i saw this gorgeous gorgeous edition and i was like i have to have this it was six dollars this was also six dollars i've never read sense and sensibility always wanted to never read it read what it was about on goodreads and i was like wow that sounds amazing actually and i would love to own it because the pink just goes with this perfect and they're just perfect. They're going to be with my little Peter Pan book that I just showed you. And they're going to be my little special edition, like classic books. So I'm really excited about these. Then I got this book, Padawan. I have to add to my Star Wars collection. And lastly, I got Shatter City. And the rest of this series is actually on its way to me. And um, I have Youngbloods already, which is book four. I think this is book three i don't know i don't know but um it's part of the ugly series which i'm not sure if you can see you can probably see the ugly series is right here i have four 
on, in there and then there's four in the imposter series which it like is like a follow-up series to ugly series and there's like i said four so i have this one and this one and then the other two are actually still on the way i think they got delayed so i'll have that whole series too which is so exciting i love completing series and speaking of that i also got the final gambit but i didn't feel like pulling it out um i know they're in the wrong order too but i'm gonna reorganize now that i've showed you all my books so um yeah i still need the fourth one but at least at least i got that one and it was like a couple of dollars on sale i think it was like four dollars so i had to snag that one while i saw it so that's it this is this is my haul these are my books that i got uh recently and at the book sale let me spread them out a little make it look like more <laughs> um i don't really know what happened i i don't know but i think whatever happened that they happened to have less books was probably for the best for me because I was telling myself no more than 50 and let me get a final count because I told you I would. So I got 33 total at the book sale. So that's like hardly anything. Usually I think my last one was 80. So that's not even half. So we did really good. We stayed under that 50 level of books and I'm just really excited with my mindful choices of what I actually did get. And yeah, um, thank you for hanging out with me today. That's a really it for this video. Um, I'm sure it has gone on for a while now. And if you'd like to see more from me, I post all the time on Instagram and I would love to see you over there. And it's lots of different new content than YouTube. So go check that out. And then I also post a weekly video here every Friday, as I'm sure you already know. And I just have to say it, please subscribe and like this video and leave me a comment if you enjoyed today's video and go check out some of my other content because there's lots of things on my channel now. And that's really all for today, and I hope to see you on a new video or somewhere else on the internet. Bye!